Hi, my name is Ned. Welcome to this video guide on how to build a patient portal application using Caspio's low-code platform. In the final video, I will show you how to deploy each of the interfaces into a website. Let's have a look. To deploy my entire application, I created a sample web page, and you can see how all the content is empty. Eventually, what I'll do is replace this text with the actual Caspio data page so that you can see that form seamlessly embed. And where do I plan on embedding my code? I'm actually going to use Notepad++ to edit my HTML files. These are all the web pages in my website, and I will be using each one of these tabs to embed the Caspio data page into. As you can see from this text, I have a very simple placeholder, and all I'm going to do is replace that text with the Caspio deploy code, publish my web page, and we should be able to see our application embedded. For those of you who don't understand HTML code, don't feel discouraged. There are many website builders nowadays that are compatible with Caspio. You can be using WordPress, Weebly, and many others because it is compatible with Caspio and they have a much easier way of building websites using drag and drop. But for those of you who are familiar with HTML code, you know that you can lay out your content using table tags, div tags, and eventually where you want the Caspio to be embedded, you simply find that place replace your text, and then you'll see that form appear on your website. So let's take a look. Back inside Caspia, all I'm going to do is begin with the public facing folder. So here's my patient registration form. I'm going to teach you a very quick trick if you have multiple data pages. Instead of clicking deploy and enabling access and status each and every time you deploy a data page, what you can do is select all of your data pages click on bulk action, and then very simple, hit deploy, enable access, close that screen, and now all of your data pages are going to be enabled. And you don't have to click that bar in order to deploy the data page. So let's collapse this. Let's grab the deploy code for the submission form. Copy this code, go into your HTML document, find your placeholder, replace it, save and publish your web page, and now when you refresh your website, you'll be able to see that Caspio form. It really is that easy. Just copy, paste, embed. And now every patient that has access to this URL will be able to fill out this form. So I'm just going to do a quick dummy submission. We're going to say maybe Riley. Smith can be the name. Just a random phone number. It is a required field. Age maybe 25. It can be a female. The other fields are not required. So let's go Riley at patient.com. Let's confirm the email, riley at patient.com. Something very generic, and then we'll just create a password of test and hit submit. Okay, so there's my confirmation message. If you go back to your database table now of all of your patients and you click open, you will be able to find that latest entry inside a database. Let's go ahead and continue now back to data pages. And let's deploy each of the patient data pages. So here's my patient login. I'm going to deploy that, grab my code, copy it. And I have a web page called login.html for patients. I'm going to find my placeholder text, replace it. It's going to be the same process. You'll hear me repeat myself often, but that's the idea. You copy the code, you paste it, and then you go back to your website. And once you click on login now for patients, you will be able to see that login interface. Now remember, there's a line of script inside that data page that says window.location equals, and then it's supposed to redirect me to a different web page when I log in. So let's see if it works correctly. Here's Riley. She's the last patient to have registered. If I click on login now, notice it takes me to a page called visits.html. Now let's learn how to embed the visits report. Back inside Caspio. Here's prior visits. Click on the deploy link, grab your code. And inside that web page, just find your placeholder. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, no records found. The reason why is because Riley, she's a brand new patient. She hasn't come in for a visit yet. Therefore, there should be no visits listed inside this report. Now let's go to messages and do the same thing. But again, the process is all the same. If you have your own web pages, just find your placeholder, paste your Caspio code, 
refresh and again we see no messages because the doctor hasn't sent any messages to this patient yet. And finally we have profile. So back inside Caspio, that's our very last data page, update profile, copy the code. There's the web page, replace the text, and we should be able to see this form. It's going to allow Riley to be able to update her profile. Let's go ahead and log out. And we're going to go now to the doctor side, which means when I click on the login link and I want to view all the doctor functionality, I need to deploy my data pages. So let's begin with the doctor login. So we can close the patients folder and now open up the doctors folder. Here's doctor login, click on deploy. And really you should be able to finish this process in literally just about five minutes, but because I'm explaining, obviously it takes a little bit longer. So here's the login page for doctors, find your placeholder. Back to our website. Refresh. Now let me take a look at my table to see if I have any doctors inside that database table. So if I open it. So our doctor's name is Kelly at doctor.com and I believe the password should be test. So let's try this out. Kelly at doctor.com, password is test. And when I log in you can see how we have empty web pages where we now need to embed all of the functionality. So let's go back to Caspio and grab these charts for our dashboard. So first one I'll deploy is my visits by month. So let's grab the code. Here's my dashboard page. And on this page, I'm actually going to be embedding multiple data pages. So keep that in mind. With Caspio's data pages, you can either do one data page per web page, or you can have multiple data pages embedded into a single web page if you require additional functionality and workflows. So chart number one. Replace it back inside Caspio. Patients by status, that's going to be my second one. Back again. Patients by month, that's my third one. Copy and paste. And one more. Messages by patient. This is the last chart. I'm going to copy that and paste. Save my changes and let's see what this looks like. I have no idea what we're going to get. But you can see only one chart is now populating data and it is correct data because we have two patients that are flagged as new. Now we're going to go to manage patients. Back to Caspio. Here it is. View manage patients. Click on deploy. Grab your code. Manage patients, and let's find that placeholder. Back again, refresh, and we have this now search interface where we can pull up all the patient information, and as soon as I click search, I should be able to see two results. We have John and Riley being pulled from the database table. If you remember from the prior video, here's the details link that we created. So now if we click on the details for John, you will see that it takes me to a page called patientdetails.html and in the process we're passing John's ID and now each of the data pages that we're about to deploy will need to receive that same exact ID. So let's begin with patient details. Here it is. Click on deploy. Grab your code. Back into our document. So patient details. On this web page, we're also going to be embedding four different data pages, just like we did with the charts. So let's begin with patient details. Paste the code. Let's grab patient visits. Here it is. Grab your code. Blood pressure readings. Here it is. Paste. And one final one, which is messages. Here it is. Click on deploy. Grab your code. And paste. Now let's take a look at our website. The way this is going to look is we're going to see the patient's details. So we'll see all the information belonging to John. We're not going to see any visits. We're not going to see a chart. And we're not going to see any messages. So let's refresh. And there you have it. So we're looking at the details for John. 
there are no visits currently, there is no chart, and we have no messages added to John's portal. So now let's go ahead and continue deploying the rest of the data pages. Let's learn how we can edit the details because remember, if I click on this link, it's going to take me into a page where I edit the details of that patient. So let's deploy this data page now. Back to Caspio. Edit patient details. Grab your code. We're almost done. We only have a couple of more data pages to go through. So inside the HTML document, edit details of the patient, replace, save, and now we can edit John's information. I only made the first three fields editable, but of course you can make all the other ones editable as well if you wish. Let's go back, and now let's go ahead and learn how we can deploy this page where we can add a new visit for this patient. So let's go to data pages. Add new visit, grab your code. And we only have three more web pages to go through, so add new visit, paste, and take a look. Now I can add this visit for John. So what's going to happen now is when I create a very simple submission, let's say John came in for a visit today, reason for visit, something very simple, maybe headache, today's weight was 180 pounds. Temperature 96.6, all 75, and let's just say blood pressure was a little bit higher, 135 over 90, and doctor's notes will just say NA. Upon submission, it should redirect me back to the details view. So let's take a look. We're back inside the details and take a look. We have our very first entry for John. What's going to happen to our charts now when we go back to dashboard is we're going to be able to see that information. We have one visit this month. And we can see that John came in for a visit one time. Notice how it's displaying the ID, however. Let me teach you how quickly you can replace that ID with the actual name that belongs to that person. So back inside Caspio, you're going to go to your tables, go inside the relationship screen, and hopefully you remember this screen for video number two. The relationship that we currently looked at is between the patients and the visits. So if we right click on that relationship and click on edit, here you'll notice that we can display a value from the parent table, in this case name of the patient, and I want to display that in a data page. Click on save, click OK again, refresh your dashboard page now, and what you'll notice is that the ID has been replaced with the actual name. Let's go back to manage patients again, click search, go into John's details, and let's go ahead and deploy the final two data pages, the ability to add a new message. So let's do that. Back on data pages. Inside the doctor's folder, add new message. Grab your code. Here's my web page. Replace, save, and let's have a look. There's my message form. So now I can submit a message. Please be sure to order some Tylenol. Something very generic. You can include an attachment if you want to. Once you hit submit, it should take me back to the details page. And here I can view that message. And finally, let's deploy the very last data page for profile. So back inside Caspio, update profile. Let's have a look. your code and now Kelly should be able to update her profile information and there's the updated profile form. The beauty of all of this now is not only can the doctor see the details for John so if I hit search again and go to details I'm looking at all the information for John but when John logs into his account he's going to be able to see this information as well and I know the URL by heart so I'm just going to replace this manually myself so let's go patients visits.html let me log in as John, who in this case is the patient. Okay, so now John can see his information that was submitted by the doctor. I can go to messages and see the same thing. If you want to once again replace the ID with the doctor name, that's very easy to do. Go inside your tables again, click on the relationship screen. And this relationship is between the doctors and the visits, so if you right click, display the doctor's name inside a data page for both the visits and also for messages. Display the name, click save and OK. 
now when you refresh, you will be able to see Kelly Powers as the doctor who actually treated this patient. And if you go back to my visits, you're going to be able to see the same thing. And we're done. That's it. That's the entire application that would normally take about 30 minutes to build if you know how to use the Caspio platform. But again, because I had to explain everything in detail and step-by-step -step process, the video ended up being a little bit longer. But this is the power of rapid application development. There's no coding. Everything in Caspio that you do is point-and-click interface. And using the Visual Application Builder, you can quickly launch this application and go live with it. I hope that you enjoyed the video tutorial. Hopefully, you'll be able to go into Caspio now and using this knowledge that you acquired, you'll be able to build some of your own applications. And if you do, let me know in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer any one of your questions. And if you happen to like the video, please be sure to like it. And don't forget to subscribe for any of the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio. Have a good day. Hope that you enjoyed it once again. And I'll see you in the next class.